Well, they're not perfect, but I'd say that you you're more or less the same, really. I mean, it's the uh, the one thing I would say is that this doesn't like. Have you seen that um, meme that goes round a few times whenever DLC comes out? That's like. 20 years ago, you bought the full game and you got the full game. And they show, like, the picture of the Mona Lisa. Yeah. And then, nowadays, you get this, and you get, like, half a Mona Lisa, and then the, the are, other five parts of it are Just chopped up, and it's, like, labelled DLC 1, <laughs> DLC 2, <laughs> DLC 3. Yeah. The, the fact is that I... I've gone on record multiple times. I hate the me that meme to pieces. It is a absolutely shit meme. Um, the point is, you know, things have changed. You might not necessarily a hundred percent agree with the way that these things have changed. Um, but it is it is it it. it it's, the remember where the weak point is in the tank, by the way? It's its legs. Oh, the yellow spots on the legs, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, like, the simple thing is... Oh, it shit. is... It is a lot Look. different these days... To... How it used to be. I am dead. He's next to you, so... I am alive. Him. His armor's down. Shoot the big weak spot for massive damage. Two seconds. He's up again. Oh crap. Um. But yeah, no. It, like, I'm, I'm not going to go into it in huge detail again, but it's like. It has changed. It's different now. You do game, you know. You buy the game, you get the full game. You'll then they don't take things out of it for DLC, typically. Oh, fuck. Uh, this is the first game for a long, forever, where I particularly felt that I need the DLC. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Shit in hell, what the fuck? I can get in two seconds, John. He's got me. I dodged his explosion, and he didn't fire anything else, but something just exploded anyway. Ability is quite useful there. He's uh, open up again, Dro. Do you guys watch Game of Thrones? Uh, no. Oh, why not? I need to catch up with it. I've been I've been trying to catch up with it, but I watch it. I've I've like watched the first season with Dad. I watched started watching the second season at the same time with Dad, and then like. I got the job at the place where I work. I walked backwards into spawning people. I'm shooting the spawning people. Um, he is coming to get you. Did, did you see my... Uh, there was a, a meme I put up the other day which I quite enjoyed. Um, do, you mind, do you mind spoilers? I don't know, go for it. There's Drew, basically... He's down. I, I tell I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about uh, doing it in such a way that it actually spoils anything. Uh, there's a character who, in the late one of the in the late episode, uh, uh, bur burns his daughter alive. I'm out of ammo. 
it down again. Burns his daughter alive. Nice. Uh, cause he's a nice bloke. Um, he, uh, there's, there's quite a good uh, meme at the moment which says, uh, remember Father's Day is the 21st and just a picture of him. <laughs> Uh, which I quite like. And then the other one which I've been annoying Aaron with. Do you know, um... Do you know of Oberon? Of House Martell yet? I... We, we've not... Uh, I think we've seen him. I There's know that. of him because I've seen people cosplay and I'm dead. Right. He, have you heard that he dies? I would have guessed that that was a safe bet, yes. Right. You'll know he dies because he'll become a character you like. Yeah, that's pretty much how the Game of Thrones works. Um, yeah, there's a very, uh, there's another one which quite like. He basically gets uh, the mountain crushes his head. Right. Um, and there's another one going around, being going around, that's made to look like a, a headache advert, and it's just uh, it's Oberon from House Martell, who basically uh, it's stand there and in 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 the like. Like yellow, uh, in typical like font, it's saying, uh, uh, and headache. Yeah, but so I was like, ever had one of those days oh. where it feels like a mountain is crushing your head? Try these new painkillers. Again, I, I burst out laughing. Really funny. And I've been sending, I've been sending all these, finding all these really mean, uh, mean, annoying like Game of Thrones memes and sending them to Erin. Because I've got this new idea of like basically delivering her bad news in the funniest manner, and I've been testing it. So the other day, like I, I tried doing it by sending her. Uh, so she's uh, she's being not saying because she's a girl she likes pictures of cute cats from the internet, but but she that. likes cute pictures of cats from the internet, and she is female. Um, I'm, I'm so glad you've I noticed that fact about her. I've been so meaning I found to tell this you. Picture. I, I've been found this, I found this picture of this like incredibly cute cat, and then I I used like this meme generator thing, and I wrote on it, um, Dare, Daredevil spoilers. If you've not watched Daredevil, I'm not watched Daredevil. Oh, I won't tell you now. I don't have Netflix. Why have you not watched Daredevil? I don't have Netflix. Get Netflix and watch Daredevil. Because, my god, that show is amazing. Jo uh, one of the things I really like about the, sh uh, the show Daredevil, and this is not a spoiler, this is just a very clever thing, is they decided that they wanted to, like, I, I take you've seen pictures of Daredevil's black costume, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the idea, like, the concept of that is that's meant to be, like, a suit that he could put together himself by going on the internet. Yeah. And that's literally what they did to make the suit for the show. They went, they on, went the on the internet of, if I was going to dress up as a daredevil-like superhero, what would I get on the internet to, to wear? That seems reasonable. And they went and bought a load of stuff. So, uh, from my understanding, yeah, you can like totally go on the internet and go to all of the various places they did and buy the dead like the actual daredevil costume if you want to because that's what they did to get the daredevil costume yeah i mean i think obviously then they bought some stuff and they changed some stuff around and you know had things yeah. made for it but that's essentially what they did is they went to the internet with the idea of like right well that's what he's literally done if that was, if that's what Matt Murdock would do to do this costume, yeah, like what would you like? Because originally he sewed the costume together himself, like he's dead up the costume together himself. But obviously they're like, right, well in this day and age we have the internet, so surely he would just search for, like, go online and, you know, uh, I need some like sort of tactical boots. So I'll go and buy tactical boots and stuff. He is awake. And can take damage. Well, I was kind of hoping you'd follow up with a uh, Doctor Who reference. Well, he is awake. And we show the worship here. No, the impossible pit. Uh, oh. Devil's pit. 
the ooh. Yeah. I'm gonna use some uh, heavy ammo right about now. I've got like one rocket left. I don't know how good the heavy rocket I am. I've got the, um, the cluster rocket. I don't know how good it's going to be against Sepix. Can we go to the tower after this one? Sure. Go do some of that fun admin stuff and then wrap up, maybe? Yeah. I sent you that uh, Guns of Icarus, by the way. Yeah, no, I saw it. I was, that's kind of what tempted me to message you to see if it was to do this. I sent you a different game, so you said, hey, do you fancy playing some Destiny? I didn't say Destiny. Oh, you right. said Destiny. I said, do you fancy a game? I fancy some Destiny, to be fair. I've been playing Towerfall, though. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's a really good game. I just wish I had other people I to play it with. I picked up the expansion for it, because well, it was in the south for like three quid. Yeah, that's when I got it. I didn't get the, the expansion. expansion, I should have got it with the expansion. Uh, I think obviously this is the last day of the south day, so it should be getting up and cheap. I might have a check with that. I got a few things this sale, actually, more than I was expecting. To. I got the Jack Box Party Box thing. That's a really good one, though. where is it? Behind us. I'm stuck. How am I not dead? No idea. I did get full rockets sometime though. Except oh, it's a cheese. Yeah, that really doesn't work against me. I don't know. Save it for when uh, another load of. Maybe it does. It doesn't if I'm missing. I really need some primary ammo now. I just killed some shanks around here. There we go. Oh, grenade. What did I get? I got, uh, I got Mini Metro, I think I've told you about. You said you bought uh, Mini Metro. I don't you've actually told me about it. It's um, it's a puzzle game. Basically, it's it, it's a really interesting and colourful puzzle game. The basic way that I've been describing it to everybody is it's a London underground map. Yeah. And so the, the 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 basic point of the puzzle is that you have to build the London Underground. Yeah. Um, and so it starts you off with a certain number of stations. Uh, I think in every, like, it's got a different, it, it, it's got about five or six different towns that you start building different undergrounds in. Um, the, the basic place is London. Um, and you've basically got to um, connect these stations together. Yeah, this is probably going to bore people to death because I'm going to be talking about this on the podcast this the week that we're recording this. But yeah, that's it. If you want to hear more about games that we've been playing, go and listen to the Emergency Escape podcast on finalbossfight.co.uk. To be fair, I was to join in this week. Like, what games you played? Um, Destiny. How was it? Um, I played with John. We did it for a let's play. Like, you got literally on what you're playing. It. I don't know if I can get to hit. Because I had a period where I played a lot of games, and then uh, now in a period where I'm playing not a lot of games. That's mainly due to, like, uh, moving and stuff. I mean, that's understandable that you'd uh, play fewer well, games. Well, it's moving. We had, like, obviously, like, UK, games expo, UK Games Expo and such. Uh, oh, oh, killer, man. Well done. 
Good job! Did he level? He's level! Hasn't he? Ah! Apparently I had a uh, bounty for Sepicus. Bye! Well He's like done. flying away. Bye! Sepix Prime cast a great shadow over our city. Um, but yeah, you know, basically you've got three... Oh, I unlocked a thing. I just realised who this guy's voice is. Fallen or yeah. The dude in the wire. They always do. Um, he's the, um, black captain in the wire. Basically, in the Mini Metro game, you've got to join up the three... Oh my god, you've not finished telling me what about it. I haven't even started. Oh what the fuck! You've got to join up the th you. You've got to join up the different stations that appear around the town. Yeah. Um. Come on! Come on! Come on! Something yes, cool. Could. Something cool. I've got a mode of light. Oh, you bitch! Got a warlock helmet. Worse chest armor than I was already wearing. I've got a Locust Watcher 2 helmet, 230 defense. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. 13 light. Come on, no, no! You hit next game, didn't you? Well, no, it don't... If you leave it too long, it doesn't give you enough time to leave the game before it comes up with the next one. Like, I was at three quarters of leave matchmaking, and it just goes, eh, I don't think he wants to leave. Keep him in. Whether Keep we him in. We've stepped into a war with a cabal on Mars. So let's get to taking out their command, one by one. You want to do this one? From what I can get, he commands the siege uh, from an imperial okay. land tank outside. Oh uh, yeah, you've got to connect the different stations up. Well and so obviously, right the, the, like, the first thing you can do is you can draw down. underground lines between the, the three stations that appear. But at the start, you've also got three different lines you can use. Yeah. Um, Let's find access to the system. See if we can track down Galastar. Oh, right. Um. So you could, for instance, join the two stations together on two different train lines. And then have a central, like, a central train station that is the overlap point. And then at each of the train stations, different travellers will arrive, different customers will arrive who want to go to a station they aren't currently at. Which makes sense, really. Kind of yeah. hoping for some of your feet, yeah. Um, but so I was so engrossed in listening to you, John. The way that it's done is really impressive because well, I, it, it's really simplistically done in that each of the customers is a different shape, and each of the train yeah. stations is a different shape. So the, the the customers want to go to a station that is the same shape as them. So circles want to go to the circle, squares want to go to the square triangles want to go to the triangle yeah they've got enough AI programmed into it, enough AI pathfinding programmed into it that they can work out which is the shortest train ride for them so if you've got a train that is going in the wrong direction they'll wait till it comes back and goes the other way or if they can't get to that particular station on the line that they are currently on they know where they need to go to swap onto the line that they need. Right. Which I think is quite cool. Run around, do the thing. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's see if any of those are better than anything I currently have. Nope. Nope.
Okay, this, it's a pair of shoes that could potentially become too better at defence than what I'm currently wearing. But will only become the same amount of light as I'm currently wearing. Yeah, I've just got the same thing, really. It's like, do I be bothered with... No, I don't. Yeah, I just said the same thing with armour. It would be one armour better, same light, but less strength. I think that was... Um... I'm going to keep that hand cannon though. I really fucking want a hand cannon. So I've got one here which actually gives me more ammo for sniper rifles and for auto rifles and I'm using a sniper rifle and auto rifle but it's less defense, the same amount of light but it gives me discipline What's good ammo? It's actually not terrible I suppose Fuck it, go for it um, But no, basically at the end of every week in normal mode you get a new locomotive. Finally. And then you can get one of two randomly assigned Find them. Um, other benefits. So you can either unlock a new train line uh, get a carriage to go on the back of one of your trains so that you can carry more people on a single train. Yeah. Uh, get an interchange that upgrades one of your train stations to Put be in the crucible, better. That's how it is. That's how it will always be. Or um, uh, what's the other one? So, you know there's that new area, can we not, like, that, no. that's like, no? No, can't even go there. Anyway, we'll be probably back for some more Destiny sometime soon. Maybe. Bye guys. Yeah, potentially.